Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's episode is all about the brand new limited edition Viseart Grand Pro Palette Volume 2. I am so excited to be showing this palette to you guys. I have Volume 1. I think it's shown up in my favorites, maybe a couple months. I just love it. I absolutely love it. And you guys know how much I love Viseart eyeshadows. So I'm really excited to show you guys this palette because they came out with all brand new shades, 30 of them, and six new formulas. So if you are interested in learning more about the Grand Pro 2 palette, then just keep on watching. So I just wanna share with you that I got this palette in PR. It was a total surprise. The box showed up on my doorstep and I placed an order. I pre-ordered it the minute it came out on Muse Beauty Pro. I pre-ordered it and I just assumed that that was what it was. Uh, but inside was a card and it said, Michelle, we know you will enjoy this Muse Beauty Pro exclusive. So it's exclusive to Muse Beauty Pro. Thank you for your support and we're so happy you're enjoying your Eason brushes. Best Celeste. So this was in there and I, again, just assumed that this was something that they wrote out to their customers. And sometimes when you purchase palettes from Muse Beauty Pro, they will throw in some of their Eason brushes. And if you guys don't know, I've talked about the Eason brushes before, but they are made of sable hair, which is a little bit difficult to find. So when I learned they were sable hair, I purchased the entire Eason brush, like eyeshadow brush set, and I really enjoy them. So I guess I must have mentioned it in a video, and I think that's why they mentioned that <laughs> in here but they sent me two brushes one is the w23 uh, which is a brush that i have and i really really enjoy it's just a flat shader sable hair and they also sent me s31 which is like a pointy uh like pencil brush i think this may be synthetic hair i'm not sure small round eye contour brush is actually what they call it and then they also sent the pro mixing medium which is something that will turn basically like your powder shadows into like a liquid shadow so Maybe we'll play with that today. I don't know. I don't know if I'm feeling that daring. So I just want to say thank you so, so much to Muse Beauty Pro and Viseart for sending this out to me. I was extremely surprised uh, that this showed up on my doorstep. So I am so appreciative. Thank you so, so much. So my pre-order is still coming, which means a giveaway. So I would love to give away one of these Grand Pro palettes to you guys once I receive it. Just stay tuned. I'll announce it in one of my videos. Uh, but anyway, let's get to the star of the show, and that is this beautiful Grand Pro Volume 2 palette. So it comes in this lovely box. So just yesterday I was able to catch the Muse Beauty Pro. I think they did like a live stream and it ended up on their IGTV. Anyway, I was only able to watch like the first five minutes of it or whatever, but Anastasia and Alphonse of Muse Beauty Pro, they were talking about how much they both really love books. And you can see it in this packaging of the palette. So it's like one of those fancy books that comes uh, with its own like cover that you would display on your bookshelf. Anyway, I thought that was really cool. The palette comes out of this outer case and there's only 3,000 of these palettes. So each one is hand numbered. I have number 83 out of 3,000. Again, just like uh, their Theory palettes, just like their Grand Pro Volume 1 palette, just like their Petite Pro palettes, um, this flips up and it closes with a magnet. So this flips up and then this flips open. There is, I don't want to blind you, but there is a mirror on the inside there. And then here are the 30 shades and there is a plastic covering there. So here are the 30 shades. So there are six brand new formulas that Viseart has come out with and all of these shades are brand new as well. So what they've done is they've actually ordered this palette so that each new formula has its own column. So over here on the left hand side we have the Crystalline Highlighter and they describe this as a sheer satin formula designed with a multi-layered crystal fleck ideal for highlighting eyes or cheeks. So you'll see in my swatches here that they do have a bit of a sheerness to them, but they're not sheer in that I feel like the pigment is just sitting in something that's clear. I feel like the sheerness is almost like the pigment is sitting in like an organdy film. It's just really, really beautiful. It's subtle and it's very, very elegant. So that is column one, the crystalline highlighter formula. And then here in column two, we have the prismatic metallics. And these are a medium to full coverage reflective formula layered with a larger prismatic fleck. 
So these colors are meant to have a lot of light reflecting off of them, give a lot more dimension and a lot more, because I'm trying to move the palette around and give the look a lot more excitement, if you will. So you'll see here in my swatches that they have quite a bit of pigment. They're really beautiful. They shimmer beautifully in the light, like a disco ball. <laughs> And then in column three here, we have chromatic foils. And these are a full coverage formula created with a highly reflective polished finish. And you'll see here in my swatches that they definitely have a full coverage. All my swatches, by the way, are finger swatches on a bare arm, and they're just one swipe. I didn't go over them at all. I didn't blend them in. They're just a one swipe finger swatch. So those are the chromatic foils. And then next we have the Lux Metallic formula. And these are described to be a medium to full coverage with a rich jewel tone pigment payoff. And here are the swatches on my arm. Beautiful, beautiful, very obviously full coverage there. And then next we have the Celestial Duochromes. And these are a sheer to medium satin formula designed with a dual colored prism, creating a transcendent movement of color. So like the name suggests, these are duochromes and you can see the duochrome effect in my swatches. And then the last column are glittering toppers, sheer to buildable matte formula with a large glitter complex, ideal for layering on the center of the lid, inner corner of the eye, or lips. This formula is recommended for use with the shadow transformer or sealer to set the reflective particles and maximize textured reflectivity. So these are definitely the most interesting and I think the most different kind of formula for Viseart. When I first swatched all of these shadows, I didn't read through <laughs> all of the information that they sent along with this palette. I was just so excited. I kind of like opened it right up and just started swatching. And that last column was definitely the most surprising to me because they really are very, very different from what I'm used to from Viseart. If you guys are familiar with Viseart shadows, they're probably best known for their matte shadows, which are amazing, highly pigmented, easy to blend. Um, they work like paint. You can like actually mix them together. They So they blend really beautifully together. And Viseart is a pro makeup line. So they gear themselves towards makeup artists that are working film, stage, uh, TV, anything like that. And I actually had the opportunity to meet Anastasia uh, who is one of the owners of Viseart. And I met her at the makeup show in New York in 2016. And I was actually with a friend of mine uh, who is a makeup artist who has actually worked on a lot of TV. Um, she actually just came off of The Punisher. I was like so excited. She's like, don't be excited. She's like, in terms of makeup artistry, she's like, it's just a lot of blood and gore. I was like, that's so exciting. She was like, it's not. Anyway, she's the one that explained to me you know, why Viseart's matte shadows are so great, why their satin shadows are so subdued. And I understand that now because I'm sitting under really bright light, but you know, in TV and film, like you don't necessarily want everyone like highlighted <laughs> or like shining, like, you know, they were just kissed by the stars. So a lot of times you have to use very, very subdued makeup. You know, if you want something to shine, you don't really need something that's that reflective because you have so much lighting going on. And it's also very distracting. You don't want the actors like eyeshadow to be like the focal point of a very like dramatic scene or something. So coming from that viewpoint, it was like, I'd always love Viseart matte shadows, but that's when I really started to appreciate their satin shadows, that they're just very beautiful, they're very subdued, they're highly pigmented, but they're not gonna be like in your face foiled eyeshadows. So I think for Viseart to come out with six different formulas that are incredibly shiny, I think this is a real crowd pleaser. I think this is really for the beauty enthusiasts out there. I think, obviously, I think makeup artists are gonna love this as well, but I think what they're really trying to do, and I appreciate their effort, is to reach out to all of us out here on YouTube, all of us on Instagram, all of us who just really, really love makeup and we aren't necessarily makeup artists. So I appreciate this coming from Viseart. And I should also mention, I feel like I, I assume a lot of things, but this palette is magnetized and all of these pans pop out really easily. There's like a little groove in between each pan that you can just pop out very, very easily. So this is something Viseart has been doing since the Theory palette. So all of their Theory palettes work the same way. Their little Petit Pro palettes work the same way. And then they did basically the same design for these Grand Pro palettes, which I think is really awesome. And I just love this like fold open kind of case. It's very portable, it's sleek. I feel like it's protected though. 
Like, I just really like this packaging. So I'm just taking out my Grand Pro Volume 1 palette out. Here is the first palette. These were all mattes. And then here it is next to Volume 2. I think they're incredibly complementary. I think if you have one and you're interested in trying their new formulas, this is kind of a no-brainer. They just seem like they're made for one another. So I'm going to go ahead and start playing around with some of these. Obviously, I can't uh, put all of these colors on as much as I want to. And I also cannot achieve a full look with this palette because they're all um, satin or shimmery colors. I mean, of course I could, but that's not what I am going for today. So I'm actually going to incorporate the volume one in as well and I have my Eason brushes out here I also have this mixing medium all right so I'm gonna go into this shade right here and I'm just gonna place that all over my lid with a fluffy blending brush I'm just sort of setting everything down putting down a nice canvas I think I want to do kind of like a warm look, like use some of the red and the peachy and the brown tone shadows in the Volume 2 palette. So I'm going to use uh, one of the warmer tones up here. I think I'll use this one and just start to add a little bit of dimension with that. I'm using the same blending brush. All right, I'm gonna go into this brown shade, and this is one of the Lux Metallic Formulas, and this has a medium to full coverage. I'm gonna go in with my W23 brush. Again, this is Sable Hair, and Sable Hair is very soft, but it's very firm, so you're gonna get uh, a really kind of heavy uh, application with a brush like this. It's not very fluffy and airy, it's very like direct. <laughs> so I'm gonna go in lightly <laughs> with this, brush and I'm going to start on my outer V area and work that in. Look at that pigmentation and I just dipped it in ever so slightly. Beautiful. Hope the camera's picking up. It has like uh, like a deeper brown base but then the reflect is a little bit more coppery. It's very pretty. So I really want to try one of these chromatic foils. I think I'm going to go into this peach shade on top. And these are supposed to have a very, very full coverage. And in my finger swatches, they definitely did. But let's see how it's going to look on the eye. So I'm going to use my W21 brush. Again, this is Sable Hair. I'm going to go into that peachy chromatic foil. And I'm going to put this right the inner portion of my lid and blend that in. Oh, how pretty. And there's that blending I'm talking about. The Viseart shadows just, just come together beautifully. There's no muddying. It's just this nice kind of combo of the two shades. It's just beautiful. All right, there are those two shades. And then I do want to try one of these crystalline highlighter shades because they should be able to work over anything else. I just don't know which one. I guess I'll use this one on the top here. These are so reflective. This one up here, I think you can see it better. It's kind of like a, a warm kind of pinky petal pink kind of color. I am going to use this uh, W21 brush again. I'm actually going to just pat this on top of the brown. I want to see like if it transforms the brown into something a little bit more more pinky. And I'm just sort of patting this on. I don't want to disturb uh, the shadow underneath too much. I just want to see how much of an effect this has. Oh, it's really pretty. It's very subtle. I don't even know if you guys will see it, but it's almost like at certain angles you can see that top coat on there. And it just sort of softens up that brown a little bit. They also mentioned these can be used on the face, so I'm gonna have to use them on the face. So I already have a little bit of highlighter on there, but I'm just gonna add some right on top. I'm gonna use the one down from the one that I just used, this one. It's got a little bit more gold in it. It's not very warm though, it's actually a pretty cool toned gold. And I'm using a fluffy brush. This is the Wayne Goss number no. three brush. That had a bit more impact than I thought, that little bit. Oh, that's pretty though. It's actually pretty wet looking. There are micro glitters in there, 
So if you don't like that, this is not gonna be for you, but they're very fine. I'm actually gonna use that top one, the pinkier crystalline highlighter, and just place this on my inner corner. Ooh, that's nice. I thought maybe it was gonna to be too subtle, but definitely not. Ooh, I really like these crystalline highlighters, the one in this first column. They may be sheer, but they have a lot of impact. So I have an Esam W01 brush. It's a very, very thin liner brush, and it's part of the W series, so I'm assuming, yes, I think this is sable hair also. I wanna try using the mixing medium with one of the shades in here and turning it into an eyeliner. So I just added a drop of the mixing media onto this palette. I dipped my brush into the shadow, and then I just grabbed a little bit of the mixing media, and I wanna see if that works. I forgot to tell you, actually, I'm using the very like cobalt blue of the Lux Metallic formula to do this. And I'm just gonna give myself a cobalt blue wing. <laughs> All right, there's my blue wing. So I think it's actually easier to wet my brush a little bit in the mixing medium and then go into the shadow. All right, there is my electric blue eyeliner. <laughs> And now we enter the, we're doing this for science portion of the video because, you know, I would pretty much be done with my eyeshadow look at this point, but I definitely want to try this mixing medium out with this last column here, these like glittery toppers over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and add onto what I already have going on here. So it's going to look a little bit crazy, but I just want to see how they work and how buildable they are. So I'm going to just drop a little bit more of this mixing medium onto my palette. I'm going to dip my W21 brush in there. Should I use the copper one? I feel like I'm in an orange kind of mood since Halloween is around the corner, my favorite holiday. And I'm gonna pat this onto my lid. Oh, it's really glittery. There's like red and gold glitters in there. Can you guys see that? I'm gonna zoom in and hopefully you guys can see what I'm talking about, but there are some intense glitters in there. I didn't even see the red glitter in the pan. How interesting. This shade actually would be great for Halloween. I feel like it has an orange base and then it has like yellow and red glitters, almost like leaves. It's like perfect. And I'm just patting this shadow on. I feel like because it's so glittery and chunky, if I were to swipe, it would just create fallout. I wouldn't actually get any shadow where I wanted it. So I'm just patting. All right, I'm gonna finish up the rest of my face and I'll be right back. I threw on some eyeliner and mascara and then I realized that I wanted to kind of uh, blow out my lower lash line and use this uh, S31 brush. So I'm going back into the Grand Pro 1 palette and I'm just gonna use this brown matte shade there and I'm just gonna dip my brush in and just drag this along my lower lash line. Maybe about two thirds of the way in. Ooh, this brush is really soft. All right, I think that's it for the eyes. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use my new Sisley Le Fido Rouge in number 33, because this is a really warm kind of orangey brown. I think the name of this actually is Orange Sevilla. And this is what the, this is what the shade looks like. So I thought it would go nicely with what I have going on up here. <laughs> All right, so there is the lipstick applied. Uh, so let's wrap up this video. I think this palette is so much fun. I'm so happy that Viseart decided to really kind of play around with um, creating some shimmery, glittery types of formulas. Because they're so well known for their mattes, I feel like this is what's really gonna kind of round them out. They're just beautiful. I'm really, really impressed with these uh, crystalline highlighters over here on the left-hand side. Um, they're supposed to be sheer, which they are, but they have so much impact. They have so much reflectiveness to them. They're just really, really beautiful. I think that these three columns, number three, four, and five, are really beautiful. Definitely medium to full coverage. They go on so easily, blend so beautifully. And then these two, the more glittery ones, 
I don't think are ones that I'm gonna reach for every single day, but if you're really into glitter shadows, I think they're a lot of fun. So, so far, I'm really impressed with this palette. I'm not surprised. Again, I'm a huge fan of Viseart shadows, of Viseart products. I have a lot of their products, and they're just wonderful. They're always just really, really top-notch, high quality, and I appreciate all the effort that they put into it, that they put into the release. If you guys haven't seen uh, the Viseart IGTV channel or their Insta stories, they have a lot of information about like how to wear these. It's also on the Muse Beauty Pro site as well. So thank you again so much to Muse Beauty Pro and Vizzy Art for sending this palette out to me to try. I really, really appreciate it. And the one that I placed on pre-order is definitely coming. So if you guys are interested in that and entering a giveaway, keep an eye out for that. I just wanna get it in my hands first before I actually start the giveaway. So give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Comment down below in the comment section and subscribe before you leave. I would love that and I'll see you in my next video.